Hello everybody, my name is Philippe de Barros and in this week's video we're going to look at some cool footwork you can do whether that's in your own dance style or you're at a party and you just want to throw out some nice moves. So let's go. And in this channel I help people to grow in their dance journey. So if you'd like to get up to date with our videos do consider subscribing and we're going to look at what's known as apple jacks which are really cool move i like this one it's really nice so for this one we're kind of thinking about making a v shape with our feet and also going pigeon toed with our feet so it look, kind of looks like this i'll do it on the spot first like this and then i'll do a bit of faster one and then we can also do it going to the side and obviously we can do a, we can do certain things with our shoulders as we do that and so on it's a nice move so Let's break this one down. So I need to be aware where my weight is on the feet. It might be on the ball of the feet, towards the front, or towards the heels. That will help a lot. So we're going to think about, in this V shape, think about moving this foot outwards, the heel there, then move the toes of this one in to go pigeon-toed. And then we just reset back to that V shape. And what's happening is I'm on the ball of this foot and on the heel of this foot. So imagine, so maybe we can do this actually. We can have the ball of the right foot, my right foot, but you can mirror me if you want to. So the ball of one foot and then the heel of the other foot, then come back down again. So let's try that. So the ball of one foot, the heel of the other one, come down. The ball of one foot, the heel of the other, come down. The ball of one foot, the heel of the other, and come down. So now, as we do that, we're now going to go into that pigeon toe shape and then come down, put the weight back in the middle of the, of the foot. And now we're going to go to our V shape. Before we do that, let's go back to where we were, actually the original V shape. So come back again, the same weight on the, on the ball and the same foot, uh, the same weight that, on the heel of that foot. And repeat to that A shape, come down. To that A shape, and then come down, just like that. So let's try that again. So we're going across like this. And now we're going to switch the weight to the other way, the heel of this foot and the ball of this foot to go to, the, to that V shape there. Then we're going to come back to where we were, come back to there, come back to there. Just repeat a few times. Again, we've switched the weight now. Now it's on the ball of this foot and the heel of this foot. So once you practice that, you're welcome to hit rewind, slow motion and so on on YouTube, then um, that's cool. You might not know that you can press that back arrow, which goes you back five or 10 seconds, depending on your settings. And in the settings, you can also change the playback speed, which is cool to know. Uh, so pigeon shape and then duck shape, pigeon shape and duck shape pigeon shape and duck shape. You can also then bring the next level, once you're ready, is to roll that foot into the position. So rather than going flat like this, which is cool as well, depends on that style you want, you can also roll it. So I'm thinking about rolling up and then rolling down, going up and then down, up and down, up and down, and then it looks slightly different as well. And that was Patty Vo that taught me that actually, the great Patty Vo. So have fun doing that, and let me know how it goes. So in our next move now, I call this like squiggly feet, but I forget what the actual name is now. But it looks like this basically, so it's going to be like this. It's a nice one, a bit similar to the other one, but it's also slightly different as well. It's nice, isn't it? So the same way we're going to have a weight of, on ball of one foot and heel of the other. As they come in to the, with the heel of this foot, they don't make a V-shape now, they both make a straight line, but to the side. I come to the other side, bring it in. I'm just switching the weight. So that comes in, switch the weight, uh, ball of this foot, heel of this one. And then I open them up, and bring them in as I switch weight and then open the other way. Then I can bring it in and switch the weight. Obviously, if you, when you're on the heel, you can't bring it in or out. So it's the other foot that does the work there. So let me show you again. Can you see? So the foot, it switches from the heel to the ball. Then we open up heel to the ball and we open the other way. We switch weight like this. I hope that's making sense for you. So what we're doing there again is I'm on the weight on the heel of this foot, the ball of this foot. As we switch weight, it's the one that's been switched onto the ball will come in, and then we open up. We switch weight, the ball comes in, and we open up. Switch weight, the ball comes in, and we open up. And so that's how we do that one. And of course, you can then add a nice little flavor to it with your own arms, shoulders, facial expressions, and so on, and have fun with it. Okay, so now the next one is called scoots, and they look like this. We just jam in, enjoying that. We can then turn around, go back, you can add your own flair, your own style. It's a nice one there, so let's break it down for you. 
So in this one, I'm thinking about a foot is going like this next to the other one, and it, the higher you have, it can be a nicer angle than being sort of midway. It's nicer if it's higher up. And then as I come forward, I switch. I'll show you this way around. I've now switched. This one's come up, the other one's come down. I, cut, I switch, and I'm going forward as I do that. Let me show you here. So this one's come up, I come forward, and this one comes down, come forward, this one comes down. And you can even change it up a bit as well. You can add those hips, the little hip coming forwards as well, changing your body angle to add those as well, if you feel that's your flavor. And those are known as scoots, and some people might do them going backwards as well. So it's a slightly different look as well. You can see there, I like them going forwards. I think that's, that's pretty cool, pretty fun. Cool, and uh, another piece of cool footwork you can do, I call it the heel swivel, which is basically where I do this with my heel. Quite easy, isn't it? But it looks cool, and you can change your levels. You do that, you can do your arms, and you can swap the foot, and you can then add in your own things. The other foot, you can change both feet at the same time, like this, and just play with it. You can go across the other foot and swivel, like this. Or keep the other one glued and moves at the same time. So that one, pretty self-explanatory. I, I step on this foot. I don't put all the weight on it and swivel. Although you could do if you wanted to. I put, I go here and just and swivel. Other foot in front and swivel. And those are our heel swivels. And another one we could do is where we go out, out, in, in. Where we go fairly wide, out, out, and then come back in, in as well, like this. Out, out, in, in. Out, out. In, in. You can start playing with levels going up and then down. Obviously, the higher you can flex that uh, ankle, that's even nicer angle to have. If you just do it a little bit like this, it's okay, but it's not as well seen by everybody. If you go wider, it's cool, isn't it? You can add a bit more power as you come out, and you can start playing with it. You can change directions and so on. You can also go out, out, and then in, in like this. Out, out, in, in, into releve, out. You can have straight legs or bent legs. Out, out, in, in, and then go with the heels up at the end. Just playing with it and see what you can do. And now the next one we can do is, uh, is where I come up on my, on my heel like that. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? So if, the, if you can make this a bigger angle, going up on your releve, like a demi point if you're, if you're a ballet dancer, then uh, that can create a nicer angle right here, nicer angle than down here. But obviously be careful, make sure you are okay to do this exercise because it does put pressure on your foot and you don't want to sort of do any damage, so be careful. But what I like to do is have the foot out, slide this one in, and it's then coming up. So you go in on top like this. There's loads of positions you can do here. You can have it like just resting on top like this, opening the knees out. We can have it the knee in. You can have it more like a ballet style where you're hanging, the foot's hanging from the back turned out like this. You can play with it whatever style you feel suits your fancy. Uh, but I'd say generally, the first of all, don't worry too much, just put it up on there. You can angle your body. You can do things with your arms and hands and so on. So there we go. I hope that was useful for you, some cool footwork tricks. A lot of these can be used in different dance styles, including my dance style, West Coast Swing, which is one of my dance styles, which I love. And so everybody have a wonderful day. And again, feel free to subscribe if you're up to date with our videos to help you grow in dance.